All right, our Fakra Ha, I'm Brand TV senior analyst, joins us now for the breakdown of the stories from the business world. Thank you for joining us, Charles. Let's begin with the report or the result of the NPC meeting that took place last week. Well, MAN, that's the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria, is saying that this increase, the continuous increase that we've been seeing in the monetary policy rate, the rate has been the 18.5% which the MPC resorted to last week, would increase the lending rate and worsen the low competitiveness of the manufacturing sector. They are saying that uh, it's been, you know, clamoring, they've been clamoring for single digit lending rate to allow manufacturers to access needed funds to boost the sector's performance. How does this come to you? Yes, thank you very much uh, for that question. You say, yes, even in our discussion on our platform, I mentioned that the CBN increasing the MPRO for me is not um, something that was too good because you cannot just continue to increase NPC. You've been increasing and increasing, and yet inflation rate is still in the. So that means that is not an effective method to fight inflation. What is going to do that is going to increase the cost of funds. That is, that rate that you have increased, the, the new rates now, will not be the benchmark that most of the people will use at their lending. So if the MPRO is uh, it, it's in sector already, or be it 2.5 for it, then the lending rate for most of the show will increase to mm -hmm. 2 to the 25. So you are making manufacturing more expensive. And of course, what is more expensive cannot be competitive. So it is not a good development. However, my advice for manufacturers is to remain resilient and see how they can begin to produce more efficiently so that this increase in cost of fund will not impact their production. Now what does this mean more expensive goods and services for uh, customers and of course that would eventually lead to more inflation because when you increase the lending rate for these manufacturers they would not want to bear the brunt alone they would eventually extend it to consumers and then consumers would have to pay more to buy these goods and services and eventually lead to more money in circulation isn't that counterproductive it's counterproductive however the purchasing power of the average Nigerian has also gone down so you're going to see that there will be less purchase of some of these items. So what the manufacturers need to do now is to ensure that they, they maintain the quality of their program, but at the same time they can reduce the quantity so that the the purchasers, the average the, Nigerian can still buy what they can buy, but at a lower, a lesser quantity. So we emphasize that the quality of their program must be the same. Okay. Well, let's also look at uh, the steady rise in the price of cooking gas and kerosene, which has escalated the cost of making a meal in Nigeria uh, in recent times. And, of course, the challenges facing the average Nigerians under this administration, which are said to have worsened. The latest cooking price, uh, the latest price of cooking gas and kerosene uh, shows that the price of 5 kilograms of cooking gas increased from 3,800. That was in April to 4,642 Naira in May. And uh, this is an increase of 22.15% year on year. Uh, what do you make of this? For kerosene, it, it jumped from 589 Naira in April to 1,160 Naira in uh, May. Uh, and this is looking like a, a worrisome trend, isn't it? Yes, we already know that the prices of certain items are going up with inflation, and the cooking gas is not an exception to it. And when the cost of meal becomes higher, you will discover that it will affect the average Nigerian in terms of the quality of the food that they will eat, and that will affect their health. And what will affect their health is not going to affect their productivity, and they will spend so much on taking care of their health. Now, what the government is ready to do is, how can we make these gas resources available so that the average Nigeria can purchase this gas at affordable rate? Because it is not the same. We are seeing the price that you have just mentioned, 5 kg of a uh, cylinder of, of gas is going as high as uh, what you have mentioned. So you can see that 
And we are told that we have abundance of gas. So it, again, it goes to show that the resources we have, we are not exploiting them for the benefit of the average Nigeria. So I want the, the NMTC Limited and all other stakeholders in the oil and gas industry to put more effort in terms of exploring our gas resources and making it beneficial to the average Nigeria. Mm. Well, let's move on to this other story showing that the federal government has stepped up effort in tackling crude oil theft and inaccurate measurements by signing the Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Measurement Regulations 2023 and six others into law. That's according to the chief executive of uh, NUPRC, Genga Komalafe, who signed the regulations into law on behalf of the federal government in Abuja, stating that the seven regulations were signed on Thursday and that they were part of 13 draft regulations that were presented for discussions during the first, second, and third phases of the Commission's consultation with stakeholders between 2022 and 2023. Do you see this as the way to go, especially in curbing the issues of crude oil theft, pipeline vandalism, and the popery of issues that is uh, bedeviling the oil and gas sector? Yes, it's a, it's a good approach and the way to go because you cannot have a product that you depend so much on that gives you all the revenue to run the economy. And yes, you just sit down and allow refunds to siphon and steal that your commodity without getting the optimal revenue you're supposed to get from it. So the government coming out with that policy now to ensure that we, we know the amount of oil that we produce is measured, and if there are uh, lots of leakages are there, we should be able to know and plug it. And some of the downstream and upstream uh, regulatory authority coming up with this revolution, which they said has been part of it before, I think it's a very good development because this good oil movement it is not something that is hidden. If you want to go and steal crude oil, there are multiple collaborations with the NFC official, the oil and the oil company official, and of course the security agencies. So I think it is something that we can call and we get the multiple benefits from the God giving photo that we have in our country. So I support the regulators and I believe that the government and the security agencies will give them all the support. Recently we also been told that the custom uh, service has also been mandated to monitor the crude oil export. So it is better when every agency plays their role very well. So at the end of the day, they should know that it is the revenue from this oil and gas that we are able to run the Nigerian economy. So I think it's a very good development. We just encourage all the stakeholders to comply and follow suit. Mm. Well we know that eventually it will still involve the uh, handling of uh, manpower. Man, you, you know, it will still be managed by uh, humans, and uh, the level of errors or the level of manipulations may still be evident in the uh, control, monitoring, and also management of all of these uh, issues. How do you see us bringing to the barest minimum corruption in that regard? Yes, you have just mentioned it. Human element is there. We are not perfect. But we have to are control measures. Each agency knows what and what to do to try out the rules that one of the agency might see. In other words, a deliberate collaboration, a deliberate conspiracy, a deliberate connivance of all the agencies that are involved. That is when we continue to have this good oil take. But if by the one, they are told about the impact of their action in terms of corruption. And that's going to be affecting our revenue, and going to be affecting how we are able to provide infrastructure in our economy and ensure some of these businesses, their workers, will know that they are part of Nigeria. And for Nigeria to move forward, they need to play their role. Mm -hmm. It's an issue of ethics and integrity. And that's why every agency, every professional must continue to preach and transparency, honesty in the and also, uh, consequences. With their personnel. 